This video will demonstrate how to assemble and disassemble tabletop chains. Whether it be during initial installation, adjusting your catenary sag, or maintaining your chain due to elongation, there are many instances when you will need to assemble and disassemble your tabletop chain. In order to accomplish this properly and safely, there are certain precautions to observe before beginning. If you are working on a chain that is currently installed in your application, always follow your lockout tagout procedures before approaching the chain. Wear proper eye, ear, and hand protection, and always follow your company and plant's safety protocols. Tabletop chains feature a one-piece and two-piece design. Each style has different tools required for assembly and disassembly, and different procedures as well. To disassemble tabletop one-piece chain, you will need a hammer and drift pins. A tabletop chain assembly tool block can aid in this process if you are assembling straight running or magnet flex chains. For two-piece tabletop chain, you will need a base chain assembly tool and a flathead screwdriver. To disassemble tabletop one-piece chain, we must drive the pin holding the chain together out of the hinges. Tabletop one-piece chains utilize two styles of retention pins, D-style and knurled pins. D-style pins can be driven out of the chain in either direction and are distinguished by the D-shaped eye of the hinge. Whereas knurled pins should be driven out of the hinges while facing the side labeled out. This is to ensure the knurled side of the pin is ejected first. They are also distinguished by the knurled pattern on one end of the pin. To disassemble, take a hammer and a drift and place the drift on the pin. Begin to strike the drift until the pin has been driven out of both hinges. Now that the pin holding the link in place has been removed, maintenance or replacement can occur. If completing maintenance on the chain, determine how many links must be removed and repeat this process for removing the holding pin on the necessary link. To reassemble your tabletop one-piece chain, start by pulling the two end links together on the drive sprocket or using the chain assembly tool block. Take a pin and insert it into the hinge. Begin to strike the drift until the pin is centered and flush on both sides of the hinge. To disassemble tabletop two-piece chain, take a flathead screwdriver and pry off the top plate that is snapped into the roller base chain. Be careful to not crack the links when prying off the top plate. Now that you can access the roller base chain, use the base chain tool to push out pins to disassemble the chain. Be sure to align the base chain assembly tool on a complete link as shown. Always alternate loosening the two pins until they are both released from the side plate. To reassemble tabletop two-piece chain, you first need a new connecting link. It is crucial that you do not reuse connecting links. Rexnor provides one connecting link per 10 feet of chain, and additional links can be ordered. For the part number, locate your chain in the tabletop catalog, and the part number for connecting links will be listed here. After bringing the two ends of the chain together, Take a new connecting link and snap the top plate back into place.
Use a hammer or rubber mallet to assist in properly snapping the link back into place. Be careful to not damage the base chain during this process. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.